Hey there guys, Fanny's Marcus and in this video I'm going to present a few alternatives to Asana. Before we start, I must say that I'm not paid by any of the competitors that I'm going to show you right now. This is just like my honest review, honest video for you. This video is kind of difficult only because mm, everyone got different needs. If you're working alone with Asana, there are going to be good alternatives. If you're going to work uh, with, I don't know, 5, 10 people, there are going to be different alternatives for you too. So for me, what is really important is that if you could share down below in the comments your situation, what you're actually looking for, and then I'll be able to give you advice if I know the answer. So this is just like my uh, proposal, I would say, for you to share your goals or what you want to have in project management and in that regard i could possibly help you so now let's just start and i'm going to show you a few examples alternatives now the first alternative that i really like and it's a new player on the market it's called choir or queer i don't know how to read that so what i really like about choir is that it's really simple so you come here you click workspace you can simply add a project or organization let's say i'm going to add a new project and it's going to call project name YouTube. Click create. Now I'm going to add a task name, uh, YouTube video. What I can do is to simply come here and add a subtask and just create subtasks. What I could do easily is to simply switch between uh, the normal list view or Kanban board or a Gantt chart so as you can see, it's like pretty effective and it's free. I can also add a sub list here and I can really play around it as much as you want. Choir is really good if I'm going to work with two, three people maximal. I can uh, imagine that I would work with five, ten people and I would have like plenty of tasks here. In this regard, Choir is damn effective and I recommend much more comparing to Trello. I like Choir more. So this is the first uh, competitor that I see to Asana. The second one is the Trello. Everyone knows Trello and Trello is mainly focused on Kanban boards, but they uh, implemented the table display cards in rows and columns like a spreadsheet. You can have it too in Trello. It's pretty straightforward, pretty easy. The huge advantage in Trello comparing to Quire, Quire is that uh, with Trello, you can have plenty of apps so you can use the, the Trello word or how they call it. So you can use power apps and various applications that other people created and plenty of templates for your project management and i would recommend doing that if you want to so what you can do is to simply add another list youtube and just like start writing tasks and everything what needs to be done my perspective is that this is possible to again work with not a lot of people too free or alone trail choir is really effective and i would do that i would use these two the next one I prepared for you is like, maybe you know it, it's a ClickUp. The ClickUp is a little bit uh, difficult to guess, but the huge advantage about ClickUp is how complex it is. So when you come here, you can simply add a view and you have list, board, calendar, gun chart, box, timeline, table, mind map, workload, activity of people, map, doc, chat. You can also amp the various applications. So, as you can see, ClickUp is damn effective in this. And I would definitely recommend using ClickUp if you want to go bigger. I don't recommend using ClickUp if I would be alone. I would be definitely using ClickUp if I'm going to work again with a lot of, lot of, lot of people uh, in the regard ClickUp is effective. Now, the next one I prepared for you is Monday.com. But before we start, I just want to show you a few things about ClickUp. What I like more is that you can, you can have like plenty of templates. Uh, that you can add template and I can switch between plenty of templates that you can use for various things. So that's pretty good. And what you can do, uh, you can do it in uh, Trello and Quire that you can add progress, progress bar tasks, formulas. This is a huge thing. So if you need those things, ClickUp is the way to go. The next one is Monday.com. Monday.com is effective tool comparing to ClickUp. I would say that Monday.com and ClickUp are like brothers. They're already competing in a huge uh, market with also Asana and all these three are big players. <clears throat> and what you can do is to actually use Monday.com for various things and you can add templates. You click more here or add a view 
more views, let me show you. Gaunt, Timeline, Files, Map, Workload, Chart, Calendar, Form, Kanban. So it's more complex. Again, as a alone person, I wouldn't use it. With multiple people, I would possibly go with the Monday.com. This really depends if you like it. Uh, what I always recommend for people is actually test it with your employees, etc. If they feel okay using it. Like <clears throat> for my projects, I use Google Sheets. I know it will sound strange, but I use Google Sheets for project management. And what I do is that I have uh, for days what needs to be done. Then what I do is just like update it with colors the employee updated and he doesn't need to learn anything because like everyone knows how to work with Google Sheets or Excel. So I said to him that, okay, he needs to create these kind of videos in this particular order. What he needs to be, what he needs to do is just like go click done, 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 done. And we're good to go. If I'm going to work with four or five people, maybe I would switch to Asana or something, but like it depends how many projects you're actually managing, right? So if you're managing like me only YouTube, in that regard, Google Sheets effective. If our, there's going to be a project with multiple things that needs to be done, then I don't know if Google Sheets is going to be the right way to go. I think uh, like Asana or Quire or Trello or ClickUp or Monday.com would be much better. So it really depends also what you need. Like if you need mind map, you should definitely go with a ClickUp because they offer you mind map. If you need formulas, you should go click up with Monday.com or Rike. Completely up to you. So that's the next thing then we have uh teamwork teamwork is another option how we can build successful something and you have board here tables dashboard files time and you can simply work with other people here it's pretty straightforward too for me teamwork is a little bit harder to understand and manage how we can actually use it and uh, create things in it but i implemented teamwork to my asana alternatives maybe it will be useful to you then the next one is Rike. I my trial has expired. So Rike is another one that you can use and I recommend using it. Rike is really simple as Asana. So I would say that Rike is on the same level as Asana. If you want to, I recommend definitely check it out. Uh, Rike is fine. Then we have Zoho project here. Let me show you. Zoho project gives you option uh, that you can manage and I would definitely check out Zoho project if you want to um, have been in the whole, whole ecosystem because Zoho got CRM, accounting software, email, everything. And what you can do is actually use Zoho project combined with the whole Zoho ecosystem. Even the Zoho by itself is a good choice and it's enough. I really believe in that. So that's another option what you can actually do. Then we have like Smartsheet. That's another tool. I know that I speak so much, but I know most all of these tools so I could like easily teach you everything. Smartsheet is a great tool too. And uh, with a Smartsheet, my recommendation is that use it if you can have like a lot of numbers and working with a lot of formulas and connecting multiple sheets together in that regard, Smartsheet is effective. If you're just looking for simple project management, all these tools that I showed you are good enough. If you're looking for something more advanced, I don't know if I would I would be looking for Smartsheet. Now, the last thing that I prepared is a Notion. And Notion I use for my own project management only because I like how complex I can make it. So Notion is a great way to let me show you. And I come here and I, I'm not going to show you all my data because this is like important information. So I have like good quotes here, but I like what to buy my affiliate, my best affiliate programs, advanced videos that I need to make, crypto affiliate that I'm sign up to, and all this stuff. Uh, and I got like plenty of data. And what I like about Notion is that you can really optimize it as much as you want. So you are the god of everything in uh, Notion. So you just click here and you can simply add the cards, create templates and yep. Thank you very much guys for watching. To summarize this whole video, use Notion if you like real huge complexity. Quire, Trello if you're working alone or Notion if you're working alone. Click up monday.com, Rike are the top three best alternatives that I would use to Asana. You need to actually test it out by yourself if you like it or if you don't like it or watch other of my videos that I have on the internet. Then what you can do is to also use teamwork 
or Zoho projects. Teamwork Zoho projects are mm, Zoho projects are amazing if you want to connect it with the whole Zoho ecosystem. Teamwork is fine by itself. You need to just like test it out and smart sheet if you're gonna work a lot of uh, numbers and with a lot of stuff. So this is pretty much it. If you're gonna have any questions, guys, ask me down in comments and have a great day and goodbye. See ya.